What's going on guys? Welcome to 24 hours leading up to kickoff. Today is Friday. This is match day minus one. So we are, actually I'm not gonna lie, it is 25 hours away from kickoff right now. But I'm about to start cooking dinner and I kind of want to show you this. So I'm gonna get an extra hour in this video. Tonight I am making a little meal kit thing. We're making Tunisian spiced chicken. I'll show you the recipe. So this is the dinner for tonight. Like I said, Tunisian spiced chicken with creamy garlic sauce, roasted carrots, and scallion couscous. It looks very good. This is from every plate, but it's not sponsored. I actually paid for this with my own money. So, you know, whatever. Let's go, let's cook. I got my cooking companion, Scarlet. Scarlet, you ready? Yeah. And here we go, 25 hours away from kickoff. At seven o'clock at night, I just finished cooking and preparing dinner. Scarlett slept like the entire time I was cooking, which is amazing. So we are officially now 24 hours away from kickoff, but here's dinner, it looks amazing. Not to toot my own horn, but there's that Tunisian chicken with a little sour cream garlic sauce, some roasted carrots, and some couscous. So I'm gonna chef it up and send it over to Mimi. Taste test time, we'll start with the carrots. Oh, I thought those were potatoes. No, good <laughs> carrots. Like double car, are you crazy? Add some chili flakes to the uh, carrots for a little bit of, of a kick. Very good, let's try the couscous. Not a big couscous guy though, to be honest. What is it made out of? That's not bad. Babe, what is it made out of? Because it looks like barley. It's just couscous. It's like its own thing. That's a, but what is couscous? Hopefully you're not allergic. <laughs> <laughs> Babe, I'm pretty sure that's barley. No, barley is a different thing. Final thing, let's try the chicken. This is what I'm most excited about. This Tunisian little rub on it looks amazing with the uh, creamy sauce. You love rubs with creamy sauce. I do. <laughs> mm. What do you think, Punky? What do you think? <laughs> That's like a 10 out of 10 chicken. Really? Yeah, it's really good. I just need to try it. Okay. Shut up. Off camera, you just said it was the best chicken that you've ever had. No, I didn't. <laughs> Real quick, guys, I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, Football Supplements. Football Supplements is a brand specifically designed for footballers. Thousands of players are already using Football Supplements, and they're even trusted by organizations like Atletico Madrid, Lille, and some players in the Premier League. I've been using their supplements over the last couple of weeks and I've really enjoyed the product so far. My favorite product though is Kickoff. I like using Kickoff about 30 minutes before my training sessions, my games, or my workouts. I just add one scoop of Kickoff to some water and I get a big boost of energy, focus from the caffeine and all the other ingredients inside of this product. Like I said, when I've been using Kickoff, I just noticed that I run farther, I have more energy and more focused. And that's just crucial because at the professional level, you're looking for every single edge you can get to beat out your opponent. They also sent out Intro, which is a carbohydrate and electrolyte mix. Like the name suggests, this is just fantastic to use during your workouts, training and games to just to replenish some of those electrolytes and carbs that you lose. They also sent out Recovery and the chocolate flavor, which is a protein, carbohydrate and electrolyte mix. Again, as the name suggests, this is great for recovery. Usually with most protein powders, you just get protein. But as footballers, when we're training, running, playing in 90 minutes, we need to get some carbs and electrolytes in our body after the games or workouts. So this is like your all-in-one recovery drink right here. 25 grams of protein, 17 grams of carbohydrates and electrolytes all in a scoop of this recovery mix. And finally, they sent out Extra Time, which is just a carbohydrate and electrolyte gel mix. This is great for having a half time during your games, just a real quick snack to get in those carbs and electrolytes really fast into your body. I've really been enjoying implementing all of these products into my daily regimen. It's just so great to have a product that's actually designed for footballers instead of the gym bro generic market out there because it really has all the extra little things that your body needs. If you guys are interested in checking out football supplements, then I'll leave a link in my description as well as my unique code which will give you a discount off of your order. So once again, a huge thank you to football supplements for sponsoring this video. 8 o'clock at night and we're just about ready to bring Scarlett up to give her a bath. But I'm just watching Charleston Battery play Indy 11 right now because we play Indy 11 next weekend in Indianapolis. So just kind of doing a little bit of my own 
scouting for next weekend as well as watching some of my former teammates last year at Charleston Battery. But just chilling. Like I said, we'll bring Scarlett up here soon. Hopefully get like a good seven, eight hours of sleep. Last night, Scarlett slept like seven hours straight through the night, which was very, very nice and, and much needed. So for, who? for you and for me. <laughs> you need somebody attacking the keeper there. Allen puts it up. That's cleared as far as Asante. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. Wasn't able to find the back post run there. Hi. Mimi is feeding Scarlett upstairs. I just finished a every touch game analysis video um, against Memphis, so I'm just uploading that to YouTube right now. So just a little bit of work. It's nine o'clock at night, 9.07 to be exact. So I'm just going to make sure this is all gonna upload correctly. Hopefully it'll be up by like 9.30 and lights up by 10. That's the goal. Scarlett. Scarlet's just about ready to fall asleep. It's 10 o'clock at night. So we're gonna do lights out. Hopefully, hopefully she has a good night's sleep. But I'll catch you guys tomorrow morning. Good night. Good morning. It is 7 a.m. Good morning to you. <laughs> Scarlett had a decent night's sleep. She woke up twice at like 2.30 a.m. and 6 a.m. But maybe took care of that. Uh, I just kind of slept. Yay. But I will take Scarlett <laughs> all this morning while you get your massage. <laughs> yeah, you excited just to hang out with me all this morning? But we are officially 12 hours from game time, from kickoff. Getting close. 8 o'clock in the morning. Mimi tried to make pancakes. And uh, almost burned the house down. Here's breakfast made by Mimi. We got some pancakes, oranges, and then I have two eggs for myself. So I'm going to eat this. And then uh, Mimi's going off to her massage, which I got her for Mother's Day. And she's cashing in right now, which is going to be hopefully good. So usually I'd be throwing on a prime game and watching that, but uh, season's over. It finished. So I don't know. There's no games on right now. There's that TST. The soccer tournament that's going on in America that's been fun to watch, but that doesn't start till like noon. Um, so I think I'm just gonna either watch YouTube videos right now and chill, or watch like it's always sunny in Philadelphia because I'm on like season four. I'm like catching up on that to watch that for like the first time. I have my coffee, hanging out. Scarlett's here, but uh, yeah, just chilling for a bit. Mimi's at her massage right now. Hopefully she enjoys that. And uh, that's pretty much it. Pretty slow. So I'll see you guys in about an hour. From like the 70s. GPS system? Oh, hell no. 10 o'clock in the morning right now. I am kind of rearranging and I'm picking up stuff because my family actually gets into town tomorrow. Um, it's kind of weird that they're getting in the day after the game, but they're at a wedding all right now in Georgia. And then so tomorrow they all come in, my mom, dad, sister, brother, and then my brother-in-law and soon-to-be sister-in-law all coming in. So I'm really excited, but we also need to like move a bed into this room. We need to move some of the furniture out and some of my filming stuff out. Um, just pick up and do all that kind of stuff just to prepare for that. So Mimi's at the grocery store right now. She finished up her massage. She's getting all of the food and everything that we need to prepare for my family coming in. And then I'm kind of like on cleanup duty and moving duty, getting it all situated. So doing that right now. Usually I'd be going on a walk around this time, just get the body moving, get a little bit of the blood flowing and everything, almost even a little bit of a sweat. But you know, this is, is perfect. This is like a good replacement for that. Just kind of moving furniture and just kind of get it all ready. But we're all pretty much done. It's 11 o'clock right now. Um, I'm gonna chill and go back on the couch, chill for a little bit. Um, just watch some Always Sunny in Philadelphia and uh, just kind of hang out, relax. Even on game days when we're doing like an away trip or something, we go to, um, and we're in the hotel, we go on a little walk around the hotel. We do like some high knees, some movements, and some dynamic exercises and everything, some like dynamic stretches to get the body moving, get a little bit of blood flow in the morning, just so that you're not on the couch all day long or in your bed in the hotel room all day long because it's just not the best. You want a little bit of, uh, a little bit of movement exercise throughout the day.
T minus seven hours until kickoff. It's 12 o'clock in the afternoon. Usually this is when I have the second meal of the day. And I've talked about this in the past, but usually for my game day meals, if the game's at 7 p.m. at night or an evening game, I have to go a big breakfast, a medium-sized lunch, a small snack, and then like a banana or something really, really small when I'm in the locker room. So usually it's like 8 a.m. breakfast, big breakfast, 12 p.m. That's when I do the medium-sized lunch. 3 p.m. is when I do a small snack and then probably around like 5 is when I have like a banana or something like that for, for those really simple carbs. So that's usually what I do. And again, you know, it changes a little bit, hour here, hour there, but that's typically what I do. And that's not, you know, I'm not saying that's the best thing to do because I know other players that skip breakfast, have a big lunch or, or do whatever. You kind of have to find what works for you. So. Anyway, gonna have my medium-sized lunch right now. I was gonna reheat dinner from last night, so it's that same Tunisian chicken with the couscous and the roasted carrots. That was delicious. I'm gonna have that, and that will be lunch. One o'clock in the afternoon right now. Scarlett's just sleeping over the last like 30 minutes or so. Mimi and I have just been kind of like piddling around and cleaning up, kind of moving around stuff just for the whole family to get in. Uh, my sister also has a newborn, or actually not even a newborn anymore. She's like nine weeks, 10 weeks or so. So we're kind of just getting everything situated about where everybody's gonna sleep, you know, little changing stations for the babies as well. We had to, like I said, move the bed in my, uh, my filming studio room. So yeah, just kind of doing all that stuff, picking up. Maybe we went and did a grocery run for everybody, but we still got, you know, some stuff to do. So it's, it's really low key. We're just kind of uh, picking up, doing a little bit of stuff, and uh, just hanging out. Scarlett is passed out right now, which is fantastic. We'll probably keep doing this for about half an hour or so, and then, um, yeah, there's, you know, game days are pretty slow. It's just kind of hanging around, cleaning up a little bit, watching some football when it's on. But there's not there's not much that goes into game days, to be honest. I'll show you what we did, though. We moved. Uh, the table right here, kind of like a changing table to, to change uh, my sister's daughter and my daughter here when they're over. We moved the chairs that I do for the podcast in the living room. Started picking up the living room a little bit. And then this needs work. We need to clean up here. Kitchen's clean though. And then here is the, the filming room, the studio room. We moved the like nursing rocking chair in here so my sister and Mimi can nurse here the texting chair over there and then we got the the bed here where my brother and, and uh not brother and sister my brother and my soon-to-be sister-in-law will be sleeping here the cats are loving it i know i know it's crazy so this will be their room we have a guest room upstairs as well but yeah Very basic science. Are you crazy? 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 What are you having her watch? It's always sunny in Philadelphia. No! Are you kidding? <laughs> It's now three o'clock in the afternoon. I'm just gonna have my snack. For my snack, I'm having a mango with some cheddar snack mix from Annie's. This stuff is the best. So I'll probably have you know a few handfuls of this, full mango, and that's what I'm having. Pretty much from now on, I don't like to have anything that's gonna be really heavy. It's pretty much just, you know, like you saw, like simple um, carbohydrates, simple sugar, stuff that's gonna digest very quickly. It's not gonna sit in my stomach for a long time. This is what I found has really, really helped me feel like I have enough energy, but also like I don't have a lot of it in my stomach and I feel light. So, yeah. What's up, Scrammy Marley? So it's four o'clock, which means I start my like pregame ritual routine. I already showered since Mimi gave me a haircut, but I'm just gonna kind of trim up the beard, shave, uh, get into my game day outfit which is always you know i'm always like the, the drippiest guy on the team and then i'm going to make a cup of coffee and then after that it's pretty much just getting scarlet and mimi out the door at 4 45 and then we head off to the stadium so um hopefully hopefully we go out on time even if we're not i give myself a huge buffer because i'm not going to catch a game day fine which is quite expensive uh do you know what you remind me of huh you know that movie with ryan reynolds where he's like in a video game 
the free guy. And he wears the same outfit every day. That's why I picture your wardrobe where you just open it with <laughs> a white shirt or a white shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Looks good. Does it fit? I like it. Do a twirl. Forget the twirl. No, do the twirl. <laughs> I'm not gonna do the twirl. <laughs> so it's 427 right now. Um, I'm all dressed, all ready to go. Mimi's just giving Scarlett a little top up right now, feeding. I'm gonna make a cup of coffee, but I'm set. It's only like 20 minutes to the stadium. Uh, we have to be there at 5.30 p.m. But uh, you know, like I said, I like to get there early because game day fines are, are expensive. Plus it's just not good to show up late. So for my cup of coffee, what I do is I just do two shots of espresso and then I just add in some steamed milk. So, and I actually use lactose-free whole milk just uh, because I am a little bit of lactose intolerant and I don't wanna have milk in my stomach upset or something for the game. So make that right now. So I realized that I haven't even said who we're playing tonight. We we're playing Louisville City FC. Um, it's gonna be a really, really tough game. Louisville City has been one of the top teams in the USL Championship for the last like five, seven, five to seven years, if not more. Um, the team that they have is, is very, very good, very experienced. And you know, just watching film from them this week and, and scouting them, it's gonna be a, a very tough game. But I'm really excited to play. I'm actually playing right mid this game, right winger actually, because we have some injuries in the team and I just got pushed up. So I'm excited for a new opportunity. I'm excited to uh, play a different position. But yeah, we definitely have a big challenge tonight for sure. of USL Championship action underway. This is a Louisville team that, as we alluded to, Mark, in the open, we see Tellefson go off to the left. Let's see who puts a foot in it. They play it for Harris, shot on goal, and it's wide. Smart play by Louisville. 13, it's a well-worked move. They're just changing the angle so they can get it beyond the wall. Romero with a dangerous pass. Ball played up ahead. Edwards gets ahead on it into the box, but Lewis couldn't get much on it. And Zemla field. will take the corner to the left of Zemla for the far post. Open out, oh, saved by Zemla, deflects it uh. and knocked away. Great play by Oliver Zemla. Influence to go down here. Now here's the replay from, from earlier. It's a really good corner. It's a deep corner and then Openo, that's a super double save from. They were looking for Openo, gets it back off a turnover. Here's Openo into the box, trying to load up. He does, and it's deflected wide. Corner kick for Hartford off a beautiful move by Antoine Openo. One won it back, did really well. That's another good save by Zemla. Second save of the match against Tellefson. Tries to put it in and it sails wide. And that will do it. We've come to halftime in a very satisfactory first 45 for Hartford. For, again, it's an option I think Tab Ramos has to, to make a change. There's a giveaway and a shot. Oh, a golden opportunity. Enoch Mushigalusa with the best chance of the night. Kave Rad. Finds Hodge. Here's Logue. Up on the left to the active Openo. Openo taken oh, down. There's your first card. That should be the first card, and it is. The Performance Lab, an all inclusive model that brings the latest technologies for pain relief, wellness, and mobility together under one roof with one on one treatments of the season. I might have wagered on the over. Well, he got one last week for complaining about the penalty. And well, Cedeno got one last week, and he wasn't even in the game. Which is he was warming up. 
given the fact he's two rows in front of us <laughs> right now in the main stand, if he picks up a yellow today, then we really got a problem. Say to someone it might not be a big soccer fan, oh, what do you mean there were no goals and it, it was entertaining? It's very watchable. Dia will wait for it to come down, gives it away. And there's a push. There's a card. Yeah, that should be a card, and it is. Danny Cruz tends to use all of his available subs. Now Hodge with space. Tristan, left-footed shot, just wide. Great attempt by Tristan Hodge. How Watch Lewis here. Yeah, how far away is this? Look, if you're not going to get closed down and everyone else is... Hodge plays it up in the middle. Edwards with a dangerous Careful. play back. Here's Musha Galusa to the goal line. Chips towards the 18. Drops back. Here's a shot. It's wide. Tyler Gibson whistles one wide, and that might do it. The whistle of Luis Diego Arroyo will blow to bring this game to its conclusion. And it does. We have reached full time. And if a tie is like keep kissing your sister. So it's 10 o'clock at night, I'm just getting back home. Um, really good team performance tonight to just grind out that tie against you know a fantastic Louisville side. Uh, we had a very clear tactical plan of how we wanted to play, how we wanted to defend, and I think we executed that really, really well, like exactly what our coach wanted, and it worked. Um, and I thought that we had a couple opportunities that we should have put away, and it, you know, like even though Louisville had the vast majority of the ball, I think that we had the better chances and the better opportunity to win that game. So, um, yeah, it's tough, but happy to get that that tie against Louisville. I mean, that's a, a big result from us, but three points would have been better. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of the 24 hours leading up to kickoff. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, right, guys. Peace.